Pop Scott. Cool. Manachu. Hey, we have some more Lil B. This is the last track of all of the tracks sent in by the winner of the 30,000 subscriber giveaway, Xanax the Bastard. Um, this is a song called I Love You from Lil B. This is off of, this is track number 34 on God's Father, which is the very last track on that album. Uh, it came out in 2012 and uh, produced by Devin Hendricks. Uh, let's see here, there's a little note ingenious about this. It says, this song is on Lil B's 2012 mixtape, God's Father. It's the closing song on the album, huh, I'm repeating myself, and is Lil B's way of thanking his fans. The instrumental samples the Besaid Besaid Island music from the PlayStation 2. I have no idea what that is. Square Enix game Final Fantasy X. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That is interesting, because this is pretty... This is 10 plus years ago to be doing computer game music in your music, which maybe it was more common than I can think of, because I certainly was not keeping up with everything going on in music at the time, and I'm not now. Um, let's check this out, though. Lil B, I Love You, 4 minutes and 29 seconds. I wonder if he just wanted to hear people say, Lil B, I Love You, over and over on the radio, or, you know, when people did reactions, like me. He wanted, to, he wanted me to tell him I loved him. Oh, Lil B, that's so sweet. Uh, the music video here says, Music video, most honest slash touching video of 2013. Huh, interesting. I have lyrics. We will start this up and let's go. Thank you, Xanax the Bastard, and uh, congrats on being the winner of the 30,000 subscriber giveaway. We're, uh, we're actually almost up to 31,000 now, if I go look at the dashboard. Yeah, 30,884 currently. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please go subscribe. I appreciate it. It's just, it's, right, it's like right down here, probably. And um, thanks. Let's check this out. Lil B, I love you. <laughs> Still quiet. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, I love how his sense of humor comes I through. Love you. I want to say I love you too. Thank you for loving Lil B. Thank you for supporting me. Shouts out to my mom. I love you. Yes, you can cry to this. Yes, I love you too. If anything just happened, no. Just, just know this. I live for you and I love this. Thank you, Base World, for being nice. It gets cold on these lonely nights. Never had money, so I can't respect it. Really, I value friends. You feel me? It's so interesting, the choices he makes. And, and his style in this is so casual. So, not, not I don't care kind of feel to it, but like, but very much like he's just kind of making it up off the top of his head and he knows this doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be honest and, and be real and it's it's and it comes across like that like it comes across as if he's just sort of just doing this he just wanted to sign off saying something nice on the album but I mean, and I can't even say for sure if this is something he had written out ahead of time. I assume it is. Um, but it doesn't come across like that. It just comes across like he's sitting here almost having a conversation with you. Like, here's what's on the top of my head. This is what I'm going to want to talk about. This is what I want to tell you. And, you know, I love you. I love everything about what's going on in my life. I love my mom. It's okay if you cry about this mom. Like, it's just, it's so casual. That it's and uh, you don't see a lot of music done that way. It's kind of fun. OG told me keep your heart, keep spreading love and play your part. I just do the best that I can, say real things and help my friends. I, I am not perfect, but I am great because I keep a smile. I know you are a superstar. Stay base and love me and hope I have a good life. R.P. to your dead family. I love you, base world for life. And I want you to have a good night. And I want you to have a good day. 
Everybody know I see weird things, but it's gonna be okay. snakes are so cool I just and that albino, albino python is awesome right. boom, boom. I made this for all my people that's alive right now cause sometimes man I feel dead we all feel dead man we alive on earth but we live and die it's for everybody that's in the sky everybody that's out here we alright it's okay to cry Uh, spread my music and uh if anything ever happens to me you know uh i love you guys man the tears coming to my eyes just saying this nothing's promised the world's real creep things get real shicey you know like i said i'm young base guy and don't nobody like me everybody love me come back home, motherfucker see how real it is, man, you say like, damn, man, like, you know, cause the world's so big, you feel me, and you like, I want to spread so much love, you know, it's like, man, I got a lot of love to spread, and I just want the world, you feel me, I want the world to hear it, you know, so it's like, I'm crying for everybody, man, and, and for real love, man, cause that's where the music comes from, man, it's 100% love, man, so, you know, this is, this where we at, man, this is the home, man, this is where I fucking started, so, you know, but nothing's promised, man, so we just do what we do, man, shout out to the bass fam, you know, everybody that believe in me, everybody that's been holding it down, you know, uh. Pulls it back together at the end. Interesting, interesting. He, he's an interesting guy. I would be very curious to. And I know I've read some stuff about him, uh, but I don't remember all the facts about everybody I've ever. I wish I did. Oh God, I would love to remember everything. But um, he strikes me as somebody that, just the way he's acting here, that, that terrible things have happened to him. It. it it's my take. I, I, I don't remember details about his life. And he's somebody who's come through it all and he's managed to be successful at what he's doing because he had talent, but an interesting perspective. And he is absolutely not afraid to show how he feels and what he thinks. And, and people respond to that. And some people are going to watch him crying on camera and be like, oh, what a pussy. But no that's that's the thing that gets him fans like that's the thing that makes people look at him and go fuck man yes i get it like you're right we're not guaranteed everything the world is shysty <laughs> and it is a creep and i understand and that he's able to like summon up that um enough feeling talking about what he talked about in this song to have it bring him to tears um, just tells you how raw and how real it is for him. 
and I think that's the thing that people find so so enticing about him, so interesting about him. I mean, in addition to his talent as a musician and a lyricist and a performer, and, and I think his performances are particularly interesting because of what I was talking about earlier. This song is unlike anything I have ever really seen before because it just seems like he's just kind of kicking back and he wanted to rap about this. I have no idea why he's in a, a reptile store, a vivarium, as it's said outside. Um, did he work there? Is this his in his old neighborhood? Like, I, what, what is the what what is the story there? I have no idea. If you, if you know, please let me know in the comments because I'm very curious. Uh, I I like his stuff. I like his stuff. Again, is this a song I want to download and listen to over and over in my car? No, not really. Just because it doesn't like, there's not enough there to like keep me interested in terms of like cool beat great stuff going on funny lyrics that's you know like that's what i listen to music for is stuff to like engage me when when i don't want to be bored in the car and this would be just be too too much to listen to it would be heavy in a different way than a lot of the other stuff that i say oh that's like way too heavy this is too heavy like in a in a brighter emotion kind of way um and uh and it's good. It's good. Xanax, the bastard. Thank you for sending this in. And uh, that's about it. Thanks very much, Pop Squad. Check it out. I am going to now go and do a uh, listen to Jace's song, Bros Fall Out, Brother from Another Mother, uh, because it's a follow-up to the video I did yesterday from Summers, uh, releasing uh, Can't free do do free do uh, jesus i'm a moron the hell was the name of that album or that song free do can't do it from summers um apparently a little bit of back and forth and free do slash can't do it was a response to this bros fallout so um and everything involved in that situation which i have this much information about and uh, apparent but i'll do it in that video but if you want to check that video out it's coming up next thanks very much i'll be back with some more bye bye